Um, you know, it wasn't. It was. It was very interesting. I mean, there's various ways that you find a character. You know, and the beauty is, I also got to collaborate about her with uh, this very collaborative director and and the production team. So that was really exciting too. But I mean, I think what was really easy for me was to understand her loyalty to Wakanda. To me, you know, I'm an Africanist, I'm from Zimbabwe, I believe in the potential of my continent and the fact that, you know, the world hasn't seen how much it's capable of. But I see it every time I go home, every time I'm on the continent, I see so much ability, so much beauty, so many things to celebrate, but I don't think the world sees it. So the idea of a, con a country like Wakanda, it was very easy for me to connect to how much passion I would feel towards that, like her, and how much I would want to protect it, which is her job. So I really understood the stakes of her role of protecting a nation like that that had never been colonized and hadn't flourished. Finding her also through how she moved and through how she fights and through how she's doing things that are traditional to her ancestry, to her mother, her foremothers who created the Dora Milaje. That was cool and it was also grueling. But once I started to find that, I started to find her. Ways. I think it, it really, it, oh, well, I mean, honestly, I would say specifically the beauty of what Marvel has done is that they've created a story from the African perspective and given it this scale and this, this, this platform. And I think that makes it unique in and of itself. I think a world like Wakanda is a world we've never seen before. And I think we, we had, there's so much, um, you know, there's so many interesting political parallels going on in this movie and, and dialogue that we've just never heard, ever. Like, you know, the Pan-Africanism dialogue and dialogue about everyone's role in the world. How, how, what does it mean to be a global citizen? Like, those are questions that I think are really powerful in the film and come from a very characterized place. So I think that just makes it original to just any other film, not, not any other wrong film, but just any other film in general. It gives it a very specific uh, narrative and, uh, and consequently resonance. I think she is, because she's, she's such a combination of so many complex, interesting things. I mean, one minute she's fierce, she's extremely feminine, she's got the big red lip, but she's got the bald head, you know, she's definitely been an, she's definitely been an, an intense little girl growing up in Wakanda and wanting to get to where she got, and then, you know, she, you know, she earned her spot, and um, she's got a confidence in that, but, you know, she's also in love, I mean, there's just so many things that... Uh, make make her something very specific, and you know, and her sense of humor comes out of nowhere sometimes. And you know, she's just um, she's and she's um, she's willing to exert all she has in the dedication to her belief in the sovereignty and uh, the the beauty of her people and her nation. And I love that about her. Well, I think it's something that happens all the time throughout the world. I think we finally just got to see it actually illustrated. But I think at the end of the day, even in, in any great leadership, you see that there is a feminine influence that is important and that um, really helps uh, really balance and progress things. And I think that um, the beauty of T'Challa is that he's willing to openly realize that and manifest that and not, you know, hide it and see it and just be surrounded by a bunch of men when he's making decisions and dealing with the most perilous issues of his nation, but really tapping into the people, as his father says, people you can trust, surround yourself with people you can trust. And then the next thing you see, he's surrounded by women, and it's like, well, go figure. But, you know, I, I love the example that sets also in the, the, the leadership that he manifests and that he, he's, he's smart enough and confident enough as a man and as a leader to take that route.